Hi everyone and welcome to RevMax.com. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna give a brief overview of our self-hosted RevMax tracking platform. We've designed this self-hosted tracking platform for performance marketers, media buyers, and agencies that are all running campaigns that are focused on direct response or instant results or instant conversions. Um, and so it's very important um, to me that we have this um, data out there and, and in a way that can be interpreted to help you optimize your campaigns. Nowadays, with mobile traffic exploding across the globe, more people nowadays access the internet and, and applications via their phone than they do their desktop. So it's very important as a performance marketer that we collect all this data and we analyze all this data accordingly to figure out what's converting the best and then we scale upwards or downwards depending on what's working and what's not. Um, so the first thing I want to highlight in this video tutorial is our dashboard. As soon as you purchase the RevMax self-hosted tracker and you download it and install it um, on your web server, everything starts tracking um, automatically. All this data starts to populate and it's in real time. Um, there is no delay. So as you start to get your campaigns live, you'll, you'll get a dashboard that's similar to this and you can see um, right off the bat we can start to identify campaigns that are profitable and campaigns that are not. Now, now, as a performance marketer myself for the last decade, um, I always go by the 80-20 rule. I know that 80% of my revenue comes from 20% of my campaigns. Um, it would be a great world if every campaign I launched was profitable, but unfortunately that's not the case. Um, out of all the campaigns I launched, it really it's 20% of those campaigns are what make the bulk of my revenue. Um, so if we look through here, we can see that our profitable campaigns are highlighted in black, and then we also have our profit in green. Um, and the ones that are losing money, the negative ROI are in red, and then we also denote that here as in the profit line. So we can see what's working and what's not really quick. Now, another one of my favorite features that we've coded into our self-hosted platform here is the favorites um, option. So what I'll notice is I'll go through seasons. So some months I'm running some campaigns and other months I'm not. Um, but when I'm running a campaign and it's a campaign that I really want to track closely, I'll star it as a favorite. Um, so you can see I can just click on these stars here and make it a favorite or make it not. And then it allows me just to track those a little bit um, closer. So I can click this icon at the top to display only favorites and then hit the refresh button and I'm only seeing the favorite campaigns. So this is really important because in any given month I might, I might launch 100 campaigns but again out of those 100 campaigns it's really 20 of them that are going to bring in my revenue and the other 80 um, you know just kind of kind of fizzles. So um, that's one of my favorite features about our dashboard here. We also have the option here to only show campaigns with activities um, or activity. A lot of times I'll launch campaigns and you know, I just won't start traffic to them yet. So I don't want to see a dashboard full of zeros because that gives me no data to go off of. Uh, so I can select that and it'll just kind of hide all those. But you can scroll down here and you can get an overview immediately of all the campaigns and, and how they're doing and performing. And we have it paginated so it only shows um, 50 per page. Now, if you want to drill down a little bit more, and where, in my opinion, you get the real value from our self-hosted uh, platform, that's by clicking on this statistics icon here. When we do that, we're going to see a lot more detail about inside of the campaign, so we can see exactly what is working and what's not, so we can optimize accordingly. Now, right off the bat, we're going to see this overview to where it kind of shows everything that's going on inside of the campaign. Now, this particular campaign uses a landing page or a pre-lander or even a bridge page, which means that when we're buying traffic, we're sending it to our own landing page that we've made, and then we're sending it out to another offer. And this offer is an affiliate network, um, so it's working kind of that direction. So this is going to allow us to optimize not only the campaign as a whole, but our landing pages that we've made out for this. Um, so we can get the overview of the campaign, so we can see the campaign overall is working, and we can track important metrics such as how many clicks we've paid for, um, how many clicks actually made it to the offer from the landing page, our click-through rate, how many people actually saw the lander and clicked on um, an offer to generate that click-through rate. The most important part, how many people out of the, all these clicks did they convert the conversion rate, our landing page conversion rate, so how well is the lander converting, our overall revenue for the campaign, our costs, since uh, we're buying our traffic, it's, we're, we're, we're paying for traffic, how much did we spend to make this revenue? And then, of course, the profit, um, the cost per click, how much we paid for each click, um, earnings per click, how much we made per click, and then our ROI. So it's some very nice benchmarks, and um, we can select our dates, and we can change the time zone, and we can do all that to really you know, get a deeper look at why this campaign's working or you know, what needs to go up and down.
In this next bar here, we display the offers because what we'll find a lot of times is many of our campaigns have multiple offers. We're, we're going to split test different offers in. Um, so this is a great way to get a multivariant test on the actual offer. So we can say, well, this offer is working and this one is not. And, um, you know, how can we squeeze more out of this campaign? So we can we can look at these metrics here and see, um, you know, just right off the bat, we can see that um, offer ID 6 is converting better, but not by a tremendous amount. Um, but it does give us these metrics to go off of. Now, if we scroll down, we can do that landing page test, a nice little split A-B test. Now, uh, for this particular campaign, we only have one active lander. The other one's not active. But had it be active, then we could actually split test to see which landing page is performing the best. So we first look at the offers, what offers performing the best, and then we look at the landing pages. And so it's all this data, data that allows us to make optimization decisions to get a better ROI in our campaign. Now, with all that stuff is pretty simple stuff to track, and it's pretty much a no-brainer in a lot of it. But if I go down here to our group metric performance, this is where we really dig into the data, and, and we can really look at what's making a campaign profitable, what's costing a campaign, and then we can optimize from there. So if you click this select metric um, icon, you can look at all the metrics. They're automatically tracked and populated for you. Uh, we've actually generated our own databases of all this data. Um, so we can let you know exactly um, you know, what manufacturer is sending all the clicks. So nowadays with mobile traffic, when we're running campaigns as performance marketers, more people around the world access the internet from their phone than they do their computer. So it's, it's no longer that someone's on their laptop or desktop. Now you know, the internet's in their phone or the internet's in their pocket. So what we can do is click manufacturer and click refresh, and it's going to show us what phone manufacturer is converting the best. So we can see, you know, which one's getting the most clicks, which one's getting the most offer clicks, which one's getting the best click-through rate. And so all these metrics we've already examined, we can dig deeper. So now you'll notice that many traffic networks, especially Google AdWords, allows you to target specific uh, metrics such as manufacturer device. And so this way, when you're launching new campaigns, you can launch based on what works. And so you're able to make a much higher ROI. And we can look at the ROIs over here. You can look and see 127%, 318. So especially like this ZTE right here, obviously you'd want to create a campaign with more of this traffic because the ROI is so much higher. And you can allows you to only focus on what works and not to waste your money on stuff that doesn't work. So we can dig a little bit deeper in here and we can go into these different metrics. We can go down even further. So we've already mentioned the manufacturer. So if we want to actually get to the different device, because obviously Samsung develops just more than one phone, we can click device and we can refresh it. And now we've got all these different phones and we can see which one's working the best. So we're able to get extremely granular with the RevMax self-hosted tracker so we can see exactly what is working and how it's working. If we go down here, we can see these phones that are losing. Obviously, we don't want to target this stuff. But we can see HTC. It's got um, you know a great conversion rate on some of these phones. Some of them are losers, so we would probably want to cut those out. Um, we've got all this data. Now, if we click this, we can, of course, we can go to many other things. We can go to the device name. It, not a whole lot uh, more other well manufacturer device name but the marketing name I mean just what it's kind of called in marketing so um, you know stuff that you see in advertisements you know may help you identify it more operating systems another important thing because nowadays with mobile it's not just um, Windows or Mac now it's Android iOS um, of course we do have Windows too so you can see that um, we also like to select the platform type the device type you know is it mobile is it an iPad is it a tablet or is it a computer or a laptop? Um, the display size, this is really important too because nowadays, especially as a performance marketer, we know that the traffic that comes in on a device with a bigger screen, it converts better. So by actually looking at the display size, we're ab able to have that data and then can tailor our landing pages specifically to it. Um, traffic type, so we know if it's mobile, um, uh, if it's cellular traffic, or is it Wi-Fi traffic. Again, that's important, especially as we're promoting some offers. The platform, the browser, browser's huge, a refer, you know, where the traffic's coming from, the IP address, the internet service provider or carrier, uh, the country, the region or state, the city, the post or zip code, 
the redirect path, or the search keyword. So all these metrics come in default. And then we have these tokens. So a token is a, is a, um, is a macro that's added to the campaign of additional data. You'll find it some places where you're um, buying traffic. They'll allow you to append data to your campaigns to help track it better. So most all traffic networks, even AdWords, you know, they allow you to append this extra data. And so we allow you to add that when you set up your campaign, then you can, you can sort by it. Um, but all of this really gives you the value of what's working. And then, as well as not only knowing what works, we allow inside of our platform, you can create what's called a redirect rule. So if you know a, a device converts better, you can redirect it to the best offer, the best landing page in real time uh, to make sure you get the most um, ROI for your traffic. When you're buying traffic, it's very important that you squeeze every penny out of it that you can. So if I go back up to here, I can go back to my campaign overview, and this is going to um, shoot me back to my dashboard and just show me all these different campaigns that are running so we can kind of get a better decision. Um, but of course, we can dig deeper and look at the week parting or day parting. We also have a nice logging feature so you can look at the conversions, all the postbacks that have sent back, all the source postbacks, so meaning if your traffic source is posting back, you can look at that. And we can look at all the bots that's hit our, tra our, our tracking links. If you're familiar with the Google bot, you know it likes to crawl your site a million times a day so we can look at what bots are hitting it uh, and we can also look at we have a filtering module meaning you can filter out traffic so for example if I'm hitting my um, links from my or going to my links through my office computer I obviously want to filter out my office because I don't want to skew my stats it's me checking the campaign so I can filter it under campaigns here, I can, you know, I've got the able to list the campaigns or create a new campaign. Um, I can list all the offers. We have a nice little offer pool to where I can set up offers for my campaign, so I don't have to keep doing that over and over again. And then, of course, I've got my bulk criteria for my redirect rules. I then have tasks, um, of course, my filtering, filters or filtering section. Uh, again, if I want to filter out my office IP, I can do that here. Um, I can upload tracking IDs. Let's say that um, some conversions did not post back for some reason. I could upload those manually and I can update my click costs. Um, I've got my setup where I can assign categories for my campaigns or I can set up my vendors or as many people call them advertisers. So some people even call these affiliate networks. So I could set all that up inside of here. And then finally, I've got my traffic sources. You know, we work with every single traffic source out there. So you can add any of them in here that you need. Google AdWords, Bing, um, AirPush, LeadBolt, um, it, it just whatever traffic source you're buying from. And then, of course, I've got my account page where I can control how I log in to my interface here. But that's a brief overview of our, our um, self-hosted tracking software. Um, I'm going to record individual videos that dig e through each one of these um, sections that show you how to set up a campaign, you know, how to manage things further. Um, that way you can get a better overview. So make sure you check out our YouTube channel or just RevMax.com for a little bit more details. Um, but we're really excited for our platform here to get out to everyone, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, um, and happy tracking with your campaigns.